Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Sharp Moves video. Uh, again, back with the escapades of the C63S. Uh, so today is a special day, actually. It's a very interesting day, day, excuse me. Today is day 10 after my full ceramic coating, call it ceramic coating, wash, um, iron, iron X, um, clay bar, um, isopropyl, uh, isopropyl prep, uh, polish and carbon and uh, ceramic graphene ceramic coating of the car. Uh, it's been 10 days today. They say you're not supposed to wash your car. It's not supposed to be um, exposed to any um, any water, any liquid for 10 days. So today I'm going to go just go through all these products, everything that I've done to the car 10 days ago, and we're going to go downstairs see how dirty the car is. We're going to take it through a full maintenance wash, right? Bring it back to speed, and we're going to test out the hydrophobic properties of this new sort of call it ceramic coating here graphene ceramic coating by Adams. okay we're going to test it out they say it's good for six seven eight years i'm very interested to see how long this is going to last okay so the, the the water now that this ceramic coating is on is meant to just bead off right everything all the dirt is not meant to hold on the paint it's meant to just kind of be a little easier at moving off so we're going to test all that out uh, in this video, I'm going to go through everything that I've done to the car, all the products, why I chose these products, um, and how easy it's been to, to use the products, okay? So stay tuned, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you already haven't, and uh, buckle up your seats so we're going for a ride. All right, so let's go through all these products here, and I can just tell you, you know, why I'm using them, how they are to use, you know, what, uh, what steps I use them in, and, uh, and keeping the paint the obsidian black paint of my Mercedes, like tip top, tip top. So before I get into telling you about all the products, I want to tell you that I, I'm subscribed to a Facebook group that's, you know, it's all AMG owners and there are a lot of pro detailers on that, uh, on that group. So I've had a lot of, been asking a lot of questions and I've had a lot of good people kind of come out of the woodwork and have been offering up a ton of information. And this one guy in particular in New York City, um, I'm not going to say his name for his own privacy. Hopefully, hopefully he's a subscriber. Um, he was amazing. He spent countless hours typing to me, get this, get that. This is the right, this is the right uh, product for this. Make sure you do this. Make, don't forget this step, this step, this step, this step. You know, if you want to buy a product, don't cheap out on the mitts. Make sure you go to the, um, the what is it, the rag company and buy this quality. You know, if you're just buying, um, if you're buying soap, it needs to be pH uh, neutral. It can't be aggressive on your um, on your paint, right? So he was amazing, amazing, amazing man. And there's a lot of good people on these um, on these we call them discords or groups, right? So if you have a nice car, or if you have if you have any car that you love and you want to just know how to baby it, how to take care of it, or even if you have any mechanical issues with it, get on these Facebook groups. Get on these ours. We have an AMG private lounge as well that we can get onto. And it's just people that have the same cars and, and just love cars and they're very willing to help. So um, kudos to, to that group and the, of people and, and, um, and that, that those sort of, you know, the, the real helpfulness of it. Uh, it's gone a long way. It's really helped me to get to, to this point in, the, in this sort of stage of, of taking care of my car. So, okay, so first step in the car washing, decontamination, you know, polishing, um, you know, protecting your car than then coating it uh, was the Turtle Wax Max Power Car Wash. Okay, pretty generic. This stuff is pretty cheap. I bought it on Amazon. I thought I was buying one of these for 20 bucks, and they ended up sending me four of these. So, really, really good deal. It's called Turtle Wax Max Power. Um, the only issue I thought with it, uh, about it when I was when I was doing it is it was it's a little thin. It does foam up, but it feels a little bit thin. I don't know what I'm really, I don't know what I'm getting at, but for me, I think I like that thick, thick, sud sort of stuff all over my car. This one still suds up nice, it still foams nicely, and I haven't start, I haven't tried it with a pressure washer yet or a foam gun. Um, I did the two bucket system, which I'm gonna do at the end when we do the, the maintenance wash. This one, it smells really nice, um, but it just has like a thinness about it. Uh, but it is very gentle on your paint. So, highly recommend it. Real reasonably priced sort of stuff. Um, keep in mind that you do have to use more because it is thin, uh, but but real good stuff, really really good stuff, and uh, it's done the trick. Well, it smells like a nice like almost like a candy lime, like a nice lime sort of smell. It's really really nice. So that was the first step: hitting that two wash bucket system, rinse, um, wash. I had uh, from the rag company. I got two mitts. 
So obviously, boom, I switched probably halfway, did the first side of the car, a little bit of the front, switched to the back side, with the, and then the other side of the car with this bad boy. Right, it's got a little compartment where you can put your hand like that, get it all suds up, rinse, and then wash back on, right? Trying to go in one motion so we're not, we're not wiping the dirt, right? We don't want any abrasive stuff going back and forth, so it's just kind of there, right? Other side, there, straight into the wash, straight into the uh, or rinse, straight into the wash. That's, this is how I've been told is the best way to protect your paint. There's no abrasives. It's, it's literally, it should be foam. Spray it, rinse it, foam it, rinse it all off. Two, boxes, two bucket system, so all the abrasives are basically off, but just one wipe, and then you move forward, okay? So I have these two, real good. Lots and lots of microfiber towels, right? Once I got to the drying stage, I had this. This really wasn't enough. It's a big drying blanket. This was enough to do probably half the car, and then I had to pull up my little microfibers. But again, all this stuff is from the rag company. It's all nice and smelling new and great out of the wash. Um, I used these when I was doing the, um, the, uh, the drying as well, because it's like they're just a little more plush. I use these in the interior as well. I think these are 500 GSMs. These ones are 365, but you can feel the difference. These ones feel so, so nice. Uh, so just, just something to keep in mind. There are different levels. I mean, for the interior, you should probably go with something a little more plush, a little more beautiful. Uh, so on the tires, while I'm doing the washing on the first step, I have this stuff, which is really, I really, really recommend this. This is not for your tires, it's for your rims, for your wheels. It's called Beast. So you spray it all over your rims, you leave it for two, three minutes, it starts to get really purple and red, like it's almost like it's bleeding. And you leave it, you leave it, leave it, leave it, it all gets sort of worked in there and then you spray it all off and it's, it's just absolutely beautiful. It takes all the brake dust off. And for a C63, the brake dust is ridiculous. There's so much of it. You'll see when we go out there in the next little while. So this stuff's been really, really good. I think it costs about between 10 and 15 bucks. Hasn't really gotten me a lot of washes out of it because I use it like crazy. I'm spraying like, like nuts. I'm all excited when I'm, when I'm washing my car. But I think if you use it a little bit more liberal um, and maybe, and I'm just gonna say it doesn't have like a spray that does that. It kind of goes direct. So it's, it's easy to use a lot of it. Uh, but just, you know, get a little bit closer or even not closer, but get farther back. And so it has a bit more of an effect, um, but it's reasonably priced. So you don't need to worry too, too much. Um, after you've done that washing sort of step, dry the car, you're gonna go around with what's called an Iron X, okay? And this is to get all the little, you know, the rubber bits, all the, you know, any contamination that couldn't be picked up by this mitt, you're gonna go and you're gonna go over all the panels, just spraying the panel, spray, 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 all that panel. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna have the same effect, okay? This is by Car Pro, again, 15, 20 bucks sort of stuff. It's gonna have the same effect as Beast, right? You leave it for a couple of minutes and all of a sudden it starts to, any of the, any of the contaminated areas are gonna to start to run in like this dark sort of purple color. Um, and from there, you just spray it off. If you have a lot of contaminant, if you're seeing a lot of like, you know, purple running, you would do it again. You'd repeat to the point where you're spraying these panels and you're not getting really any any residual running. That's telling you that, you've, that, that this thing has done its job and it's kind of, it's gotten everything that you sort of need. So you've got the washing step, dry, do your rims, and then you're gonna get that iron X for any of the extra little bits that, um, that, that, you, that you weren't able to get, that you weren't, weren't able to cover, okay? That's not gonna get you all the way 100% to perfect quality where you can start polishing it. We're not quite there yet. So once you have done the iron bit, the, we call it the iron X off, we move to the next step. And the next step is getting out, this is for the interior, is clay bar and clay lubing. Okay, so we'll pull out the clay bar, it's pretty dirty. All right, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the clay bar, right? So a piece here. Okay, I got it from Chemical Guys. It comes with the matching lube, right? And the lube is literally just to get it all, get this thing wet so that it's not sticking, but it can kind of move nice and easy, right? It smells like cinnamon almost. So you're lubricating, lubricating, lubricating this, and then moving it across the body of your car. And this is gonna help to pick up all the little stuff that this couldn't get and that this couldn't get. The soap couldn't get and the iron couldn't get. There's another step. So you're gonna go all over everything. Your mirrors, your trim, you can go over your plastic, and your front grill especially, and this is gonna pick up everything. And so I wasn't sure how it worked. I'm like, oh, I knew how it worked, but I wasn't sure that it was going to work. And so I went over, it went over, it went over, it went over. And at the end of it, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but I'll come a little bit closer. 
but you can see it's got a lot of dirt, a lot of black sort of through it, a lot of like, and that's what you want. I mean, this is the, the we will call it the last 5% of stuff that these steps couldn't pick up that this is gonna cover for you, okay? So call it clay barring and lubing it. There's clay mitts that you can get as well. Make sure the car, my tip to you is make sure the car is very, very lubricated, it's very wet, right? And the, the clay bar is wet as well when you're moving it across. And then just be, just be tedious with it. Take your time, right? Little spots, little spots. Look at your paint, squirt, 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 squirt on here, go through it, go through it, go through it. And at the end of it, you will see quite a substantial amount of stuff that you couldn't see to the naked eye. But once you run this through, You'll, uh, you'll definitely notice it. So big, big help for this thing as well. This is, this is a good step not to be missed. And then you got your matching loop. So this comes as a, like a little set for about, I don't know, I'd say 20, 25 bucks. Everything's around sort of 20, 25 bucks or 30 bucks, right? Um, in addition to that, I've got my little detailing brushes, right? This is if you want to get your logos, you want to get in there, you know, the buy turbo on my car. You want to get in there and just get in there you, with, a, with a big cloth. It's only going to get the like, the surrounding area, it's not gonna get those little bits. So as tedious as it is, you know, it comes in different sizes, you wanna do it. You wanna get you know, that Mercedes logo, you wanna get all in the, the, the logo and stuff like that, and all in the little crevices and stuff like that. You know, so this kind of allows for that. This comes in a set of, you know, about 10 of them for, for about 15, 20 bucks again. Um, you can buy all different types. You can buy cheap ones, you can buy really good ones. I went kind of with the Amazon sort of recommended one, came in a big set, I don't really need 10 of them. Um, I only need one or two, um, but for 20 bucks, pretty pretty good buy, pretty good buy, just for the little tedious sort of work. Uh, this, we call it the easy detail. This thing's kind of annoying. It's meant to get into to the, the wheel wells, right, underneath where your calipers are and stuff like that. The only thing I don't like about this thing is that it shoots because the bristles are hard. When you're going in, in, in and out, it's spraying stuff all over. So, you know, if I'm using Beast here or soap, this stuff's getting all, like there's so much residual stuff coming back on it and stuff like that. Like it's spraying, spraying, spraying. So if you don't care about that, it's not a huge, huge issue, kind of a first world problem, um, but you're gonna get a lot of sort of soap and stuff sort of flying all over the place. But it does, I mean, it's pretty, it's a pretty good little weapon. It really does get in there and does the trick. Um, I would recommend one as well, and you see all the pro detailers as well, have one that's a little bit softer, that's like microfiber sort of stuff, so you can get into the softer edges, and you can you can just do different things, right, with uh, with it. It's not gonna be spraying you all over the place. So this thing's good to have. I don't know, this, again, this is like probably 20 bucks, 25 bucks, but good, good little thing to have in your arsenal. All right, so moving on. So we've done step one. Right, this is part of step one, getting our rims done. Uh, step two was going through, I guess step two was drying the car completely, having a little look. I, you know, I'll give you guys some advice. I would say, as you're going through all these steps, constantly be looking at your paint. Don't just go through the steps and move on. You know, look at your paint. Look at the areas that need a little bit more work. Look at the areas that are, you know, that are looking gorgeous, right? And try and bring everything up to speed, bring it all up. If you've got something that needs a little bit extra work, spend more time there, you know what I mean? Uh, clay bar a little longer, you know? Iron X it a little bit longer, um, you know, just, 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 the goal is to make our paint perfect, right? So we really want to be examining it, right? You can even go as far as the pro detailers told me once you're, once you're finished polishing, um, you can even go with a black light, right? Up close and really take a look, you know, and see if there's swirl marks, if there's any marring. You can really get close with that, with that light, right? To the naked eye, you're not seeing enough. There's too much too much sun, there's too much you know, glare coming off your paint. But when you really get down with the light in a dark setting, you can really get, you know, get, get sort of pinpoint, get, get sort of up and close and personal with your paint, which is good. So moving on, we've done one step, one and a half step, that was part of step one. Uh, we dried the car, we did our Iron X was number two, really important step, spray, 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 watch, right? Spray it all off, spray, spray, spray again, watch, spray it all off, we clay barred, now we are going to prepare our um, our car um, with oil. It's called also pro all isopropyl, uh, and it's basically just a it's it's almost like it's a degreaser. So it's it's basically I don't know what part alcohol uh, um, rubbing not rubbing alcohol, but what part alcohol, what part water. But it's a mix. Not entirely sure. If you know the 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 mix of water to alcohol, let me know. But um, it's, it should probably say it here. But anyways, you can mix you can mix alcohol and water or you can just buy this. And this is called uh, Gion Prep. Okay, 
Okay, so all you're doing is spraying it on, it's, it's got an alcohol -y smell, and it's basically just clearing everything. All the chemicals, all the crap that you've been putting on here to decontaminate, to clean your paint, and stuff like that, to get all the crap away, or all the dirt away, not crap. Uh, it's just gonna kind of give you that nice, clean blanket uh, so that you can go in now and start polishing and start putting ceramic coating on here, okay? So you go through this, be a little bit more sort of tedious with it. Do one panel, spray it off. Do another panel, spray it off. And any area, like in the, the little joints and stuff like that, you can get in there again, get in there. Use good microfiber um, microfiber towels to make sure that everything is dry. And um, and just, yeah, make sure the whole, you've got every single piece. You can go over the, the mirrors, you can go over all the trim and stuff like that. Make sure you've really prepared everything. This is the, this is the prep. This prepares you for the next stage, right? So a really important phase here. Again, like 20 bucks sort of thing. Big spray, this will last you. I mean, I, this is kind of one car. I guess it's good for two sort of goes, right? Two real full-blown goes at it. So Geon Prep, good to have. The next step is where I, it starts to get a little bit crazy, a little bit complicated. I wasn't sure because my car is, it's got 20,000 miles on, it's three years old, but it's been baby. It came cross country. I wasn't sure if I was gonna need to polish it I knew I wanted to ceramic coat it, but I wasn't sure if I needed to polish it. Um, but after the whole, take a look at my video on the delivery you know, madness of how it was delivered. After getting it from LA all the way up to Allentown, didn't even get delivered to my house, and having it being taken off the truck and sitting in a in a um, you know in, in a parking lot with lots of gravel and stuff like that, I knew that I had to really take it to the next level with the paint. Bentley, shh, Bentley, come here. I knew I had to take it to the next level and fully sort of polish it, compound polish it, and then finish it. So again, this is a German company, it's called Sonax, two products. This one is for, if, you're, if your car needs, if it's got more swirl marks, if it needs a little bit of work, a little bit more work, um, you're gonna get in there with a, with a heavier um, polishing pad, and it just, it just cuts it a little bit more. It just, it just cuts the sort of the, the um, clear coat just a little bit more um, than the second one here. Right, so it's gonna give you that kind of matte finish, but it's gonna clear off all that. You're essentially buffing away any of the little scratches or any of the little sort of nicks or anything anywhere around your car that all these steps couldn't pick up. Anything that like, you know, someone walked in your car with like a little piece of jewelry or something like that and just nicked the, the, not the necessarily the paint, but the clear coat. This is where getting getting a little bit more aggressive um, with the, the Sonax and they call it the Cut Max. Uh, it's going to allow you to get deep into that clear cut and just kind of take, almost shine that stuff out or buff that sort of stuff out. Once you've done that, you're going to take it to the next level. This is the finisher. So this one's a little thinner, a little less aggressive, but it puts that nice polish on it. So this was a lot, a lot of work, right? It's too easy to, with this stuff, to, to move through the panels too quickly. Yeah, I, I probably did move through the panels a little bit too quickly. you got to be really, really slow and tedious with it. Put, put a little bit of product, bang, 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 bang. You know, put it, put it on your pad, move it around, move the product around, and then really sort of there, 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 and then there. They call it a cross-hatch pattern, there. And that's to do about that much. So it probably takes about, you know, two, three minutes to do just that much, right? You wipe it all off, you make sure it's all wiped off, and then you'll see the absolute beauty. But that's one panel, then you move to the next panel, you move to, and you move throughout the whole car. And so it's a very tedious job, but God, once I was done with it all, and I was working until the, until the evening, I was working in the dark in my garage with the light on, my neighbors, I was worried my neighbors were gonna come out and be like, what are you doing running a, you're running this loud thing at freaking like 12 midnight at the, at the night. Our kids are trying to sleep. I kept sending texts to my neighbors saying, is it okay, is, it, is the sound still okay? Are we all right, are we all right? Like, I was so worried that my neighbors were gonna come out and yell at me. But um, I got it done and the car looked absolutely gorgeous. I, it was a lot of work, I'll be honest with you, it's a lot of work. A part of me, because I have this channel and everything, wanted to document it and wanted to do it all for you guys. It's just too much to have the camera shining there all the time. I'll, I'll clip to, a, you know, a couple, I had the camera set up and you can kind of see me working a little bit. I'll clip to a few of the little videos there, a few of the little clips so you can kind of see what was what was going on. But I more wanted you to see the products I was using and we'll go do that maintenance wash and stuff like that. I'm gonna give you a little tidbits, little clips and stuff like that of me working, but it's a lot to be working and having the camera going and talking and stuff like that. So. I kind of want to just, just generalize when it comes to this sort of stuff.
o grande. Nice. So now, once you finish that, you basically have prepared the paint. It's at 100% possibility, as best that your paint can look. Obviously, if you have deep scratches that are too deep, this stuff is not going to work. It's not going to get that out. You're just going to have to live with that, right? Or repaint the, the, the paint, which is not really an option. Uh, so from there, we're ready to go to our graphene atoms. So I bought this atoms graphene uh, ceramic coating. Okay, I did a lot of research, you know, a lot of people are just like, no, I want to go with the specific, just a ceramic coat. I don't go with graphene and, you know, do some research. There's a lot of, there's a lot of chemicals involved and chemists will tell you that now graphene ceramic is better. It gives you a lot, it gives you a lot more longevity. Some people are still a little more, I call it old fashioned, but we're talking like not that old where they just want specific ceramic coating and they swear by certain bottles. Uh, so do your research. You know, I wanted to go with this one because Pan the organizer, I watched him a lot, I like his videos. He raved about this one. Um, there's a couple others, U UKCO or something like that. That's just a ceramic coat. I think if I did all this again, I'd probably go with that one. That one comes highly recommended. Um, this one's supposed to give you like six, seven years. Uh, okay, so finishing the polishing stage, putting my polisher away. I went through with the whole Gion prep again. Again, we, before we put the coating on, right? This is the final coat. We want to prep. So we've done all the work with this stuff, but a lot of this stuff gets into the, the wedges, gets into the seams. There's still a little bit of residual polish and compound sitting on the car. So you got to go through again with a full Gion prep. Hence why it's at a half bottle now. So I've used it twice. Good for four, probably four goes on the car. Uh, full, you know, isopropyl prep of the whole car. Once that's done, then you can move to the prep or the um, the ceramic coating. Okay, so the ceramic coating, you know, I wore a mask, had my gloves on, I did it in, in moderate temperatures. I didn't do it on a hot day, I did it when the sun was down. Um, I had tons and tons of microfiber towels because they say that if you put on the ceramic, which is essentially liquid glass, right? That's flashing, it's setting into your paint and then wipe it in and then wipe it again. Once this starts, stuff starts to dry, you got dried liquid glass here essentially, right? So putting it back on, you've now created an abrasive, right? We don't want to create any abrasive. So I highly recommend if you're doing all this stuff on your own, get a ton of microfiber towels and just keep switching them up. So you put on your ceramic, you put on your, your coating, right? I had an applicator, I'm, sure, I'm sorry I don't have the applicator, it's about this big. You've probably seen it if you're doing some research. You just go along the applicator and then you're doing your crosshatch pattern. It's kind of flat, you're just going that way and then you go that way, right? And then you wait, it turns kind of in like two, three minutes or you know, not even that long, one or two minutes depending on your temperature. If it's really hot, it flashes right away. If it's cooler, it takes a little longer. It starts to flash kind of rainbow-like. And when that starts to happen, you're just wiping it off. All you're doing is wiping it off. Like that, you flip, you start to wipe again, right? You flip there, start to wipe again, right? So just not using, reusing any of these squares because you don't, again, you don't want to create abrasives. You don't want it to dry and then you, you'd be rubbing anything hard on your, on your paint. So you go through it all, again, real tedious. And then the paint literally like, like I'll show you a video. I think I have a video of the, the final product, but the paint absolutely looks glorious. It's been 10 days now, so the paint, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna see it. Paint is super dirty now. It's time for a maintenance wash, but I've given it, I've given it 10 days. I've let it cure, um, and now it's time to, to wash it off. Let's see the hydro, we call it hydro, pro, they call it hydro, um, Hydro profit, hydro, hydro. Oh my goodness, I gotta remember it. So essentially, what you're doing is you're creating this this barrier, this clear coat over your car. Anytime dirt comes onto it, it doesn't get into it. It kind of sits on the top, right? And so when you pour water over it, it should just very, be very easy to just sort of. I'm not a chemist or anything like that. I'm just kind of trying to use my mind and like I've done a lot of research, but it, the water shouldn't bead on it. It should be very quick to just slide right off. Same with dirt. Anything that's that's coming on, you know, almost it, it, it we call it almost like expelling it. It doesn't want it to take it. It doesn't, it's not comfortable latching on. It's more like, ah, oh, and, it, and it pulls off. So that, that's the kind of, you know, chemical chemist sort of explanation behind it. Um, okay, so yeah, ceramic coating has been done. These are all my products. This is everything I've gone through. This is um, 
Adam's Total Interior. We didn't get into that too, too much, but it smells absolutely beautiful. This is more for just a general interior cleaner. You can do your leathers, you can do your, your, in, your steering wheel, you can do all your carbon fiber and some of that. It smells gorgeous. I love this because it's, it's one product for everything and it absolutely it leaves the, the car smelling absolutely amazing. I'm a big fan of Adam's stuff. So take a look at that, 15 bucks. Really, really nice kind of, you know, jack of all trades sort of product. One, maybe two, um, you know, microfiber towels. I keep a microfiber towel in my car anyways in the glove box, just in case I see a little bit of dirt building up, I just give it a little once over. So that's, uh, that's all the products. This is where we're at with, the, with taking care of the car. Uh, why don't we go out there right now and give you a little rundown on how the car, how dirty the car looks. And uh, we'll take it through a, what's called a maintenance wash after day 10 and, uh, and see how beautiful it, uh, it looks after, okay? Uh, I should mention, I wanna be really honest here, I should mention that uh, they say after you ceramic coat your car, it shouldn't be exposed to water for 10 days, 10 days. And the first two days are probably the most important, right? Me daily driving this, this Mercedes-Benz, I don't have that luxury that I can just put it in a garage and not, not look at it for seven, 10 days. So I was out, <laughs> two days after I ceramic coated it, about 10 minutes down the street, and it all of a sudden, I look at the clouds, I'm like, oh my God, it's starting to drizzle, it's starting to drizzle. Jump in my car, race home as quickly as I can, but I definitely got a little bit of water on the car. So, am I a fool, am I an idiot? Yeah, not too smart, not too, you know, not too swift. I could have looked at the, uh, at the, the temperature of the, of the weather and the conditions and stuff like that and predicted, but it is what it is. So. I want to see what uh, what the finished product of this is. I don't think it's going to look bad. I think it just might shave a little bit of time off instead of getting six years. You know, who knows? I get five years. I get four years. You know, of 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 protection. So, without further ado, let's go down there. Let's take a look at uh, at how dirty the car looks, and let's get it to it through a nice, you know, beautiful sort of wash. So, going through this maintenance wash, I'm going to do step one. I'm going to wash it. Two bucket system. Wash and rinse. Rinse and wash. I'm going to iron exit all out. Right. And I'm going to do this on the rims, okay? And uh, that should be it. I'm thinking about potentially clay barring it, but I, uh, I probably won't. No, I don't think I need to do all that right now. Uh, probably just gonna do these steps. I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna use my little detailing brushes, and, uh, and then give it a good dry. Good dry down, finish with the interior, Adam's interior detailing spray. Okay, let's go down there, let's check out the whip. Let's go check out the beast. Alright, so here we go, just coming around trying to examine the paint here, getting a little closer to the paint. Not sure if you can see it, doesn't look super, super dirty. I'm hoping that the paint just kind of like is sitting on the top and will be very quick to just sort of roll off. The front is my biggest concern, but I don't see anything really worrying. Alright, you get a little closer and there's like, it's just, it's just shining so much that you can see me and you can't really see the paint. Hoping you can get that, but it doesn't doesn't look super super dirty. This is after like ten days. Look at that. Okay, so the door, the kick plates look a little bit dirty. All right, that's all right. But the side doors and stuff like that don't don't look too too bad. Getting a lot of glare going on, um, which I guess is good. I mean, the gloss is a good thing, right? The gloss is a good thing. So coming around the back is like probably the absolute dirtiest. But look at that. This is a good, this is, this is good. This is a good thing because we're getting a before and after here. There's a splitter. You can see how dirty it is under the splitter there. Look at that. That's actually really good because once we clean it, we can go through and do a whole nother sort of look and how it looks after we've cleaned it. Okay. Hoping that we can get that all off nicely. All right, let's move to the, uh, to the actual washing of it. Maintenance wash number one coming up. Oh, I already want you to see this. I already want you to see this. Check out how it beads. Watch this. Watch how that's beading right off. Yes, it's working. It is working. Look at that. It just beads right off. That's amazing. It's actually working, guys. I didn't do the windshield. But look at this, look at this, watch. Water on, just runs 
right off. How amazing, <laughs> how amazing is that? The ceramic coating worked. Okay, let's finish the, well, let's start the, uh, the, the process of washing it. I'm so happy that it worked. Let's go. Start with the top of the car and work our way down. People in the comments are gonna say, well, where are your grit guards? I forgot the grit guards and I know that's bad, but on the next one I'm gonna have grit guards for sure. Just to get all the this. the grit guard sits at the bottom and it just takes anytime I put the mat, the, the the mid in, it takes all the dirt and it holds it at the bottom. It's like almost like a little a little plate that the, the dirt goes under and then it can't come back out. So I'll get that on the next one for sure. No, it's not a good look. It's not a good look, but I'm very gentle with my paint here. Very gentle. First mid out, it's all dirty, you know, too used. So I'm gonna switch it out, we're gonna get a new one. All right guys, so I just wanna finish up the video here um, with a f with a sort of f uh, finale, sort of final look at the paint. I've washed it, everything's done. You guys saw the hydrophobic sort of properties. Take a look at that paint work. Look at how gorgeous it's looking. It's still glimmering. Could have done a little bit better on the dry job, but it's beautiful, it's still perfect. It's still looking so gorgeous. All right, and I'm hoping to keep it that, that nice for many, many sort of years to come. So yeah, do I recommend Adam's ceramic graphene coating? I do, I do. I'll give you the, the sort of one year update after we've had it on there for a while, but as of sort of 10 days after the curing process is all done, take a look at the back here, remember how dirty that was? completely clean glimmering again um, so yeah really really happy with the product really happy with the first sort of you know paint contamination paint sort of you know correction cleaning coating polishing that whole process really happy with her now I can you know put some miles on it start doing some real fun stuff with it so uh, stay tuned to the next videos hopefully you like this video if you did if you learned a few things hit the like button you know check out my other videos on my my disastrous delivery of the, of the car and why i was so adamant on getting it 
um, cleaned so well and, and ceramic coated. Uh, the delivery people were absolutely just brutal, brutal, brutal. But we got her to full 100% working order. Now it's time to enjoy it. So stay tuned to my next video. My next video is uh, the first servicing of it. Just finished that. And the hefty bills and all that stuff that comes behind um, owning one of these bad boys. And then also the cost of ownership of this thing. How much should I pay? Interest rate, you know, gas, all that stuff behind it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Lots more to come. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, later.